Jamie Carragher and Gary Neville are two of the best football pundits on TV right now on Sky Sports. And at the weekend, Carragher had something very interesting to say about Manchester United and Liverpool's squads this season. Much to my surprise, Carragher said that he felt Manchester United had a better overall squad than Liverpool, much to the dismay of Graham Souness. So what I'm going to do in this video is take a look at what Carragher had to say and the arguments he puts across Take a quick look at them, analyse them and give my own opinion towards the end of the video. As always, I want to hear what you have to say, so make sure you watch the video the whole way through and then give your own opinion. But before we get into it, if you are new to United People's TV, make sure you subscribe and get involved in the United People's TV community. But let's get into it. First things first, let's rewind to December 2018 when Jamie Carragher and Gary Neville both named their combined United and Liverpool 11s. Now, Jamie's had only two Manchester United players in, David De Gea and Nemanja Matic. What has changed for Carragher since then? Obviously, the upturn of form for Manchester United since the arrival of Onigan and Solskjaer has played a major part of it, and it's certainly seen Carragher's opinion on United shift quite a lot. So much so that Carragher really feels that United can get into the top four this season. Can this momentum carry them all the way into the top four? Yes, uh, why not? I think the team just above them, I think they've got to play them, haven't they, at home? Yes, at Old Trafford, Old Chelsea, Chelsea so. April. Now this, I 100% agree with. I genuinely feel United are probably favourites to finish in the top four, if anything else. We do play the teams above us still at Old Trafford, so we've got those games in hand. But if I'm looking at the teams, Spurs, winning games unconvincingly at the moment, struggling without Harry Kane, Son's only just back, struggling with injuries. I'm not sure that Spurs are going to finish third this season. Looking at Arsenal... I'm not scared of Arsenal. I think the wheels are starting to come off under Unai Emery, the same as Sarri at Chelsea. And I think all three of those teams are capable of dropping plenty of points. So if I'm being honest, I would put United in as third. In the current form, if United can keep this up, we'll finish third this season, let alone top four. But Carragher not only thinks that United can finish in the top four this season, he went as far as to say that he feels this United squad is the strongest squad in the Premier League behind Manchester City. Listen, I actually believe that Man United are second behind Man City in terms of the best squad in the league. Uh, I've believed that going back to sort of last season. I think I said Even that. Even defensively? OK, maybe not. They've got a lot of options uh, at centre-back, but they're certainly maybe not as good as a, a certain individual at another club. But there's lots of options there. A lot of internationals as well. And a lot of money being spent on them as well. well. not as good as Liverpool. Graham soon as being immediately triggered is a wonderful thing in itself, but does Jamie Carragher actually believe what he's saying here? Or is this just maybe a tactic to deflect away from Liverpool who are currently struggling under pressure? I mean, if you look at the starting 11, let's be completely unbiased here as a Manchester United fan, what players from that Liverpool starting 11 would get into this Manchester United team? For me, there's quite a few. Van Dijk would obviously get in alongside Lindelof. Robertson would definitely get in. When fit, Trent Alexander-Arnold would get in. I think... I'd probably put Fabinho in there ahead of Matic. I think Fabinho's not been that impressive this season at Liverpool, but I feel at United, or I, I still feel he's a much better player than he is right now. And Salah, I'd get him in the right wing for United immediately. So that's five players from Liverpool that I would put in this United combined 11. And I suppose that's not too much of a surprise because Liverpool do have a class team and their recent form doesn't really change that. But no doubt... Carragher's comments are going to piss off a hell of a lot of Scousers. I mean, Liverpool do have a lot of quality littered throughout their squad, but what Carragher went on to explain in a bit more detail is exactly why he felt United's squad was stronger than Liverpool's. I thought you said they were the best group behind Man City. No, in terms of an overall squad, they've got people like Martial on the bench. You know, Liverpool haven't got a bench someone like Martial off the bench, or Alexis Sanchez, Rashford, Lukaku. Certainly attacking-wise, I think that... The, the squad they've I got... Liverpool got a better spent. group than them. I think Liverpool have got better, a better team. Yeah, better, you know, balance to them. Got I'm not sure better key Sturridge players. and Origi coming off the bench is better than what, what Manchester United. When Carragher puts it like that, it's kind of hard to disagree with. I mean, if you look, let, let, let's take the last games, for example. Manchester United played Leicester away. Liverpool played West Ham. Let's have a look at the benches of these two teams in those games. Liverpool, they had Sturridge, Moreno, Mignolet, Shaqiri, Origi, Jones and Camacho. United had Jones, Mata, Lukaku, Martial, Fred, Delot and Romero. When United were 1-0 up against Leicester, Solskjaer brought on Martial and Lukaku. 
When Liverpool were drawing one all against West Ham, Klopp brought on Shakiri and Origi. There's no question for me as to who has the better squad depth in attack. It's Manchester United hands down. If you look at that bench for Liverpool, the game-changing players there, Shakiri, when he wants to be. Same goes for Daniel Sturridge. But United there have got Mata, Lukaku and Martial. And if not Martial, it's Alexis Sanchez. They're top draw players who would get into the starting 11s of most Premier League teams. No doubt that United, in terms of strength and depth, have got a hell of a lot more than Liverpool. A wonderful starting 11, a wonderful front three, but when that front three isn't firing, Liverpool don't have the same sort of options from the bench that United do. So I think, for me, Jamie Carragher is absolutely spot on here when he's saying that United do have the better strength and depth in attack. And if you're looking at a team who's going to win the Premier League, the quality of the bench is just as important as the quality of the starting eleven. Because as the season goes on, you're going to get injuries, players are going to get fatigued playing in multiple competitions. You need to be able to rely on the fringe players to come in and keep the momentum going. And now Liverpool at the moment, they've got injuries. You know, Trent Alexander-Arnold, Gomez, Henderson sometimes, Lovren, Oxlade-Chamberlain, Van Alden. They've had plenty of injuries. And with those injuries, Liverpool are massively struggling. Players seem to be fading somewhat towards the end of the season, but it's only February. It kind of, you sort of expect it under Liverpool, though, because Klopp doesn't really change his starting 11 too much. He likes his starting 11. And with Liverpool on the opposite trajectory to United at the moment, it's not too much of a surprise, I suppose, to hear Carragher say this. But as I said, I think Jamie is absolutely spot on in saying that Manchester United have got the better squad depth in attack. But can you say the same thing about the midfield and the defence? I honestly don't think that anybody is going to argue that Liverpool don't have the better 11 in terms of a defence. You know, Van Dijk, Robertson, Trent would all walk into the United starting 11. And if De Gea wasn't the world's best goalkeeper, Alisson could come with him as well. But Liverpool, they're not looking the same sort of team that they were at the start of the season. Dropping four points in the last two games. A couple of injuries has changed the makeup of their defence. With Gomez out, they're struggling. They're certainly reliant on a starting eleven, But I cannot agree with Jamie Carragher in saying that United have got better strength and an overall squad in defence than Liverpool. And I can't argue that until Manchester United don't have Ashley Young, Antonio Valencia, Phil Jones and Chris Smalling in the squad. Yes, they're all seasoned internationals. Yes, they're all experienced players. But they're all largely shit. And that's the reality. Until those players leave this United defence and we bring in new recruits and we properly move on from players who have been there since when Fergie was around, I don't think any United fan can argue that we've got a better defence overall than this Liverpool squad. Not at the moment. That can all change in the summer, of course. But for me, I think Carragher's wrong here. I think Liverpool have got the better strength in defence. How about midfield, though? Because when you compare the two, there's some quality players there. United have got Pogba, Herrera... Matic, Fred, we've got players like McTominay and Pereira in the fringes as well. Then Liverpool, you've got Henderson, you've got Fabinho, Wijnaldum, Keita, Milner, Lallana. They've got a lot of options there too. And just like the defence, I would disagree with Carragher here. I think that in terms of strength and depth, Liverpool's squad is better than United at the moment. You know, Keita and Fred are two comparable players in that they've both been ineffective really since coming in for big money. So you can suppose cancel those two out. But Pogba is head and shoulders above the quality of any other midfielder in either squad. Which is great because it makes him a sensational player. But for Manchester United, you take Pogba out of that midfield, what are you left with? You're left with Herrera who does a great job partnering Matic, but no one there to really link the midfield and attack. Without Pogba in that Manchester United midfield, it's a completely different shape and makeup. So for me, I would disagree with Carragher in saying that United have the overall squad strength here. Again, I would give that to Liverpool. That being said, I would definitely put Pogba and Herrera both in my combined starting 11. Sue me. So overall, if you're looking at the attack, the midfield, the defence, I think Carragher is spot on in saying that United have got the better strength in attack. When you can bring players like Martial, Sanchez, Lukaku or Mata off the bench in comparison to Shaqiri, Lalana or Rigi, it's not even a competition. It's completely and utterly different leagues. United's bench is world class in comparison. But I would disagree with Jamie Carragher and I would say that Liverpool, for me, have the greatest strength in depth in both defence 
and in midfield. Now that's getting tested at Liverpool at the moment with the amount of injuries that they've got. But overall, I think they recruited very well in the summer and United need to follow that next year to plug our gaps in the squad. Right back, centre back, right winger. It's clear where our weaknesses are. But one thing that Jamie Carragher does say, which I absolutely agree with, is that United should have been getting more out of these players all season long. And that is what we're now seeing under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. Man Manchester United should be getting a lot, we said at the start of the show, they were getting, Solskjaer's getting what he should be getting, or what a manager should be getting out of that Man United squad. The talk in the last few months when they're playing poorly, this is a poor squad, this is, they're not good enough, it's going to take years to turn it around, they need five or six players. That's rubbish, they haven't. United have nine wins from ten and have drawn the other one, undefeated in his first ten games. It's a sensational start by Solskjaer. And just players all over the shop are improved and have improved massively under Solskjaer. Matic has returned to form and Herrera has been brilliant in midfield as well, let alone what Paul Popper and Marcus Rashford have been doing in attack. Victor Lindelof really looks like a defensive leader now. There's players all over the pitch. Lingard too is coming out of his shell again. Solskjaer's getting a hell of a lot more out of these players and I said at the start of the season I felt this squad was capable of challenging for the Premier League and I still feel that is the case with this attack. On paper, this squad strength in attack is right up there with the best in the league. But maybe I was a bit overzealous in thinking that this midfield or this defence could challenge for the league, especially the defence. Midfield, when it's on point and is on form, is fantastic. But, you know, we have had plenty of poor games as well this season. But in attack, Jamie is spot on. I just disagree with him. I think Liverpool have got more strength in depth in midfield and defence. But what is your overall take on this? Where do you stand? Do you think Jamie Carragher is right and that United have the greatest strength of the squad overall? Or is it just an attack? Or is it nowhere? Let me know what you think in the comments below, as always. And if you are new to United People's TV and you're still here, how you doing? And make sure you subscribe down there. Until next time, though, take it easy.